Okay, then let's have a go at 25. Uh, let's write the augmented matrix form. 3, 1, minus 2, 2, minus 6, minus 2, 4, and minus 4, 9, 3, minus 6, and 6. There we go. See what we do here. So let's write out the first row first. 3, 1, minus 2, 2. And then what have we got? Uh, one of these plus two of those, so it's R2 plus two R1s. That plus two of those, minus six plus six is naught. That plus two of those, minus two plus two is naught. That plus two of those is naught. And that plus two of those is naught, because you've got minus four plus four. Then you've got the nine. So nine, uh, no, sorry, what we're going to do with the nine this take three of those, so R three take three R twos, yeah, R ones. So nine take three R ones. Nine take nine is naught. Three take three of those is naught. Minus six take three of those is plus six, so that will be naught. And six take three of those. Six take six is naught. So we had three equations in three unknowns, and we reduced it in rather quick measure to one equation and one unknown. So we've got 3x um, plus y minus 2z is equal to 2. This represents the, so the solutions then. It's a plane in 3D space. Basically, these three planes were one and the same plane. They overlapped each other, and so the solution is the actual plane itself. So you get not you don't get where two planes meet, forming a line which were distinct planes. You've actually got three planes, which actually are the same plane. So you can see the solution, the common points would be the plane itself. So you've gone from three of these, what seemed like different planes, to show that it's just actually one equation in three unknowns. So if you wanted to parameterize it, we're going to need two parameters, aren't we? So let x equal lambda, and y equal mu. And then we can find out z. So let's just move the 2z over there. I've moved it over to the right hand side and I'm writing from right to left. 3x plus y stays on the left, so I can put it on the right now. And the 2 is going to come over to be with them to be minus 2. So 2z, so then that would be 3 lambda plus mu minus 2. So that tells us then divide by 2 all the way through. 3 lambda over 2 plus mu over 2 minus 2 over 2, which is 1. There we go then. Uh, that's the solution for 25. And that finishes this section. I think I think we've done enough on this stuff. Okay then, guys, and uh, hope you enjoy the app. And um, any questions, don't forget to give me a buzz on one of the emails. Send me in a question or something on these matrix, matrix problems. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you again in either in another... Um, list of questions or in another app. Okay, catch you again. Cheers.